Hi, I'm Congressman Ron Kine. This week we received a very good jobs report from the month of January. Over 253,000 private sector jobs were created, lowering the unemployment rate from 8.5% to 8.3%. That's 23 consecutive months now of private sector job growth. We're starting to turn the corner and heading in the right direction, but more work needs to be done. We need an infrastructure bill that will put people to work. We've got crumbling roads, highways, bridges, ports, airports that need our attention. They're not worthy of a, a great economic power in the 21st century. We know we have to do it. We should do it now while we need the jobs. And for one, every $1 billion spent on infrastructure investment, it supports over 35,000 jobs. That's something that Congress can do today. But I also compliment the Obama administration on two rules that they've recently pulled back on. One that the President actually mentioned during the State of the Union address, a rule that I brought to his and his administration's attention, and that was treating spilt milk like it was an oil contamination. Obviously, being from the dairy state in Wisconsin, uh, spilt milk is not an oil contamination. It would have added to the cost and burden of our family dairy farmers, and I compliment the Department of Agriculture and President Obama for recognizing that rule didn't make sense and they were willing to pull back on it. But they also pulled back on a rule being proposed that would have limited the ability of children on family farms to help out with the farm operation. Again, I thought it was an overreach and it needed further study and review. And again, to the administration's credit, they decided to pull back on that, listening further to the concerns of family farmers throughout Wisconsin and the rest of the nation. There's more we can do to get our economy on track and creating good paying jobs. I have a national manufacturing plan that's on my website that you can visit. I also have detailed proposals on how we can get our fiscal house in order through spending reductions that are long overdue. But I'm interested to hear your ideas. So please contact me by phone, by email, or by home when I'm having listening session to offer your ideas on what we can do working together to create the jobs our country needs and also to get our fiscal house in order.